Hi Capricorn, welcome to July 2019. Now this is a very significant month for you because it marks the halfway point from your birthday and so it's happy half birthday. <laughs> and the new moon in Cancer is a total solar eclipse on July 2nd bringing the focus to other people, your relationships, partnerships, marriage, even people you consult with. There's a very big focus here. And eclipses eclipse things. They bring things to completion and they open doors. And we can feel the hand of God. We can feel the hand of fate or destiny guiding us and moving us in a new direction, in a new path where it is taking you. And some of you, it could be the start of a new relationship because Uranus in the area of true love and romance for you is in positive energy flow with your planets in Capricorn, harmonious energy flow, and is sextile. That means opportunity, the Cancer new moon. And that's very significant. Venus enters Cancer on July 3rd. So this is a time of relationships, focusing on other people, or what other people might want from you, what other people may need from you. This is a month where you're going to be experiencing powerful emotion. Even volcanic emotions can come up from deep inside of you. That's because the moon rules the subconscious and the unconscious. And that's where, you know, the inner demons can be, the, you know, the fears, the insecurities, we all have them. We all have fear and insecurity. And it can be deep inside of us that gets triggered at these eclipses with the Cancer new moon and then your full moon. You get one new moon a year and one full moon a year. And yours is action packed too. Mercury is going to retrograde, of course. It's not enough to have two eclipses, right? We have to have Mercury retrograde too. July 7th through August 31st. He starts out in Leo and then he backs into Cancer on the 19th. And this is in this relationship area for you. Mars is in this area. Mars entered Leo on the 1st. Shared resources, intimacy, trust. So you're doing a lot of heavy lifting this part of the year, here in July. This is about you doing the heavy lifting. Now, we all need to do the heavy lifting at these eclipses. It just depends on where it falls in our chart. And for you, you are the Capricorn, so this is your moon. And, you know, if you do the work, you're going to get the reward big time. And I'll talk about that in a minute. One of the things that you're being asked to do, and this is what I'm here to teach people, is to love yourself properly. Because with this energy like this, with this rising energy coming up in you, and especially at the full moon, you can be feeling some of this at the eclipse, and then with the Mercury retrograde, you know, challenging with people just, you know, being chickens with their heads cut off this month, running around, not making any sense. And then you get to the full moon, which brings everything to a climax and bringing up from the depths of you energies you didn't even know were there or feelings you didn't even know were there. Don't bury yourself in your work or go on a shopping spree. The first one exhausts you and the second one drains your bank account. It's very important that you are taking good care of you and allowing for these feelings to come up and out, not at other people. <laughs> it, I, I like to physically work out or take a walk. I find a brisk walk absolutely helps me clear the air, feel better, and helps me control my anger. And that's how you can love yourself properly because there, there's a purpose for these powerful emotions with you. It's about you integrating parts of yourself that you may have been suppressing or ignoring. And that's what this full moon is going to bring to your conscious awareness is 
What part of you are you forgetting? What part of you are you leaving out? Do you only measure yourself by your status? Do you only measure yourself by your relationships? You know, or your money, or what you don't have? That's all the ego. And I'm not saying we're not supposed to have an ego, because we are. But if that's all we're measuring ourselves by, then we're not seeing the bigger picture. We're not seeing the spiritual, the soul, the holistic approach to Capricorn. And this is really important for you. So if a relationship completes this month or a new one begins, this is the hand of destiny. This new moon in Cancer is highly encouraging risk taking risks, putting yourself out there. And for you, it's in the area of partnership and relationship. Now, I know Mercury is retrograde, so it's kind of hard to start a new partnership and relationship with that energy, but you still can. You just don't have to finalize anything with Mercury retrograde. Or you may be finding that someone from your past is coming back. Not everyone, but for some, because there's so much retrograde energy here. We have Saturn retrograde, Pluto retrograde, Neptune retrograde, Jupiter retrograde, Mercury retrograde. Retrograde can bring people from our past back. And for you, this is in the area of relationships, love, romance, or maybe it's a project you're bringing back. Something that is very creative for you. Something that has to do with your creative self-expression. It could be that too, where it's about experiencing more of your creative self-expression, of allowing for the space for creativity to be in your life. And that's why I'm offering my course in August. So if you've ever thought about having your own YouTube channel, and it's a wonderful way to grow your business and grow yourself, and I'm doing a free webinar August 1st, and if you sign up, you get my gift, Love Your Biz Program, a $77 value, just for signing up. And this may be something that can help grow you in a new direction if you're ready for it or you want it. And you don't even have to be in front of the camera to do well on YouTube anymore. It's, it's uh, a lot of people are doing really well and they're not even in front of the camera. <laughs> so this could help you move in a new direction and uh, where Uranus is, that's the area of YouTube, that's the area of television, that's the area of creative self-expression and risk-taking and putting ourselves out there. So when we get to the Capricorn lunar eclipse, the moon has moved off of Saturn and it has separated from Pluto. However, it's still kind of close to Pluto, which can bring up this deep within us, anger, frustration, and your emotions can feel raw and urgent. But that doesn't mean you have to act on it. And don't bury your feelings in your work or spending. Feelings are never right or wrong. They're just feelings. And feelings are feelings. <laughs> so don't judge yourself. Let go of that. Be very present. If that inner critic starts, nying, 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 shut it down. Shut it down. And focus on the positive. Focus on what is working in your life. Ask yourself, what do I need? What do I need right now? This is an energy where we're being asked to slow down and be very present and listen to what's appropriate. There is this karmic relationship thing going on at this time too because Venus is exactly opposing Saturn at the time of your full moon. So for some of you, you could be experiencing deja vu or near repeat experiences or circumstances where someone could be new in your life but they remind you of someone else and you just can't seem to, it's like, whoa, I'm back here with so-and-so again. It's very important to look at <clears throat> what Saturn is showing you about your relationships because relationships are mirrors to ourself. So what is being shown here with you at this time?
For some of you, it could just feel like this intense pull to another person where you feel just magnetically drawn to this person. You don't know why, uh, you know, why you are so attracted to this person, but it's there and it has something to show you. It has something to teach you. Then on the 19th, Mercury pulls back into Cancer. So you really are reflecting this month, taking a review of your relationships, how are they serving you? How is it working for you? What do you need? What does your partner need? How can you meet in the middle and be supportive of each other? And it's very important that you are being kind with you because we can get very judgmental with Saturn there and Pluto there. Even though the moon has, you know, separated from Saturn mm, almost six degrees and it's three degrees off of almost three degrees off of Pluto it still has that Saturn Pluto energy to it and of course Saturn rules this moon Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and he's asking you to make that balance with what you need, what others need from you, what you're doing, what the relationship requirements are. But it is a powerful turning point. So for some of you, you may be moving out of a relationship. You may be saying, you know what, I'm done here. Maybe that's what the powerful emotions are showing you. It's just that I have gone as far as I can go with this person or this situation. And it doesn't have to be a marriage partner or someone you're living with. It can be a friendship. It can be a family relationship. It can be a client. It can be a customer. It can be anyone that you work with. It can, you know, where you get to this point where it's like, you know, this is where we part ways. I'm on this path. You're on that path. And I'm ready to move on from this dynamic. And I'm ready to move beyond and especially if you're repeating things where you notice that it's the same pattern, you know, different people, but the same pattern. So it's time to clean, clean that up, to, to finish that. Because that's what Saturn and Pluto are doing, is they're asking for you to clear out the structures in your life that are no longer serving you. Pluto sh changes the inherent What's in, what's in an inherent situation, the inevitable conclusion to a situation. And this is about you redefining who you are or redefining your relationships or redefining what you do. This is the completion of, of the old life and the beginning of the new life. And you really have an amazing new beginning coming in here. And I wanted to show you this because I know this has been a really hard year for you. I know it has. I know some of you are really struggling and it's been incredibly challenging. And that's why I had to go ahead and look at your new moon. You get one full moon a year and one new moon a year. And your new moon is like the best new moon I've ever seen you have. And I've been doing this longer than many astrologers on here are alive. Or have even been practicing astrology. So, uh, yeah, I'm an old soul. I don't know if you can see this, but this is your new moon chart. It is phenomenal. You have the sun and the moon coupled together with Jupiter in Capricorn. And this is on December 26th. And they're all trining Uranus, harmonious energy flow, in Taurus. This is phenomenal. Doors are going to open for you like you've never seen before. And I'm talking about in 2020 because this happens at Christmas, the day after Christmas, which really doesn't leave a lot of time at the end of the year. But this chart is on till the end of 2020. So this is your new moon chart for 2020. And it's phenomenal. And that's why do the heavy lifting in here in July. Complete things finish things. If something's not working for you, it's not working for you. That's okay. 
because you are getting an incredible new start come your birthday and with Jupiter sitting right there with the new moon that is prosperity abundance new doors opening exciting projects coming your way things that are going to open up for you in 2020 that you've never seen before that you've that haven't happened before like great things happening going I can't believe this is happening it's like wow and they came to me they asked me to write this book or 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 they came and asked me to head up this company they came and asked me to head up the sales department head up you know whatever it is so this is like amazing for you so if you're challenged here in July and you're feeling like ah oh, just like trudging up this hill once again this too shall pass and there is a purpose Saturn really wants you to tune into who you are now not who you've been not who you think you need to be but who are you now this is about living your truth now your authentic truth redefining who you are he is going to move out he moves out next year for three months into Aquarius and then he's gonna come back for a little bit right at the end of Capricorn and then in 2021 he's in an Aquarius for good so he will be gone and Pluto is getting towards the end too so this heavy lifting that you've been doing for so long you're going to see a reward coming in here for you the universe is about to reward you and that reward is going to be on all of 2020 and that's not for all of us but that's for you I mean yes we're gonna get this like, this is gonna happen for me in my workhouse but it's not in my sign it's in the area of my work which I'm I'm very excited about because I love the work I'm doing and I'm, I love teaching and so I am excited about this because with Jupiter and Capricorn it's gonna help me um, be better at what I do but having it in your own sign and having it in harmonious energy flow with Uranus who opens doors who brings opportunities creative opportunities breakthroughs that you've been waiting for years years and years for it's coming and it's coming this year you can even start feeling this the minute the Sun goes into Capricorn on solstice so it is coming and there is a purpose a very important purpose for all of us with these moons with these eclipses and you know for you it is about working with what's coming up at this time not suppressing it not hiding in the work but embracing those aspects of self that are begging for expression that are begging to have a conversation with you not judging it being kind to you being kind and being very present and not in a hurry this month for anything because mercury is retrograde for most of the month and that's going to slow things down a bit and I think that's because the universe really wants all of us to do our house cleaning and completions and beginnings doors opening at the Cancer New Moon and the Capricorn Full Moon then the Sun enters Leo on the 22nd and then Venus enters Leo on the 27th and then we have another new moon this month and this is the Leo new moon on July 31st here in the West it's at 8 11 p.m. on the West Coast on in California it's at 11 11 on the East Coast and it's on August 1st in Europe and this is a completely different energy it has the Sun and the moon coupled together with Venus in positive energy flow with Jupiter which means things can start moving ahead for you right away you know this month going into August because Mercury goes direct uh, right after the Leo new moon here in the States and that is about moving anything forward and the energy moving forward and the energy picking up and moving things forward and this is in the area of money for you so this is a very prosperous new moon for you 
and this is in the area of shared resources this is in the area of insurance payout tax payout royalty payout uh, and that's what YouTube does when you have commercials uh, you get paid uh, through passive income and so this is a very strong month going into August the end of the month going into August all of August a time for you to um, develop investment income or passive income or your partner income is growing and that's helping you too and that comes in at the end of July and then all of August and then the Virgo new moon you're gonna love because it's in harmony with you it is phenomenal too it's a really good moon career you know this is a time to decide what it is you want for some of you you might be moving out of what you're doing or you're moving into something else for others of you it might be you know a bit more of this waiting game because the new start is going to come at your new moon or at your birthday in December and January you have to decide what's right for you everyone's on their own unique path what's appropriate for you you will be shown if something completes at these eclipses, that's the hand of God. That's the universe saying you're done here. You don't need to put any more energy into this. You don't need to put yourself any, you know, invest yourself into this anymore. Money looks good. And we want to keep it good by working with our feelings and not overspending. But I really see a strong uh, cash flow in here for you going into August which is good health how is your health this is really important that you are slowing down healing the body nourishing you loving you properly so that you are feeling strong in your body spiritually this is another strong time Neptune is involved in both of these moons Neptune is trying in the Sun and sextile the moon at the Capricorn full moon and is trying both the Sun and the moon and the North Node and in Cancer at the Cancer New Moon. So again, just like in June, we have another spiritual month where it's about creativity. It is about working with your intuition. It's about working with your higher self, not getting caught up in the ego. Not to say it's not good to have an ego, but we don't want to just come from the ego and judge from the ego. We really want to connect with the soul and the higher self and see the bigger picture of how far you've come and where you're going. And, you know, pay attention to, you know, what is being shown to you. And there is room for love in here big time this month. Uh, you know, I'm seeing this for you that for those of you, you know, open for love or available for love, you know, you could be meeting someone where you, you know, it's the first time, but you're really feeling this repeat experience or, you know, uh, where you, deja vu, where you really feel like you've known this person before. You've, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting dynamic. And I think, you know, because these energies are also saying, take a risk, put yourself out there. This could be something that's good for you to do, is to be open to a new friendship, a new love interest a new partnership it can also be a project too for you you know that you're uh, really throwing yourself into something new here that's exciting and interesting for you so be open to this new energy this new project this new relationship for those of you coupled if it gets a little intense in here for you around the full moon or the new moon and cancer I see it working out by the end of the month because by the Leo moon Mars is coupled with Juno the asteroid who is the wife of Jupiter and Venus is coupled with the Sun and the moon that's a love festival and they're all in harmony with Jupiter and even Chiron in Aries is in harmony with Venus so I see a healing here of your heart of relationships so if there's conflict at the time of the full moon kind of 
go for a walk. Go and do something physical. Do something that distracts you but is good for you physically. And take a wait and see. Let Mercury get direct and let the Leo new moon open the heart. Leo rules the heart. Open things up. And Leo rules the area of intimacy for you. So let, let's see what happens. And let's just see what happens. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and subscribing. You totally rock. And I, like I said, as I'm offering my YouTube Insiders course, be a YouTube influencer. It's a great way to channel your energy into a creative project. And that link is below in the show more section. It's also up in the cards. It's also in the annotations at the end of the video. I can go right to my website, sign up, get your gift. We'd love to see you in the webinar. So until next time, Capricorn, you've got some new opportunities here.